Super Breakout, Atari 2000. Hello again, this is Jeremy from speaking from Video Gamers Oasis on TikTok. Welcome back to the, the show. Super this is the last LCD segment, game. folks, and then I'm going to take yeah. a little break. We've been digging deep into the uh, history in the book Art of Atari by Tim Lepitano, page 200 and 201, learning about Super Breakout for the 2600 as well as 5200. Now we're going to dig even deeper into a little known uh, portable LCD or liquid crystal display game called Super, the original Super Breakout. It was an electronic game. And when during the 80s, uh, if you were alive as a kid back then, you would have want your mom or dad to uh, get this for your birthday or your Christmas uh, gift or, or uh, for yourself. And it looks really fun. It looks like a fun game. Now we're gonna look a little bit more in front of the packaging that was in the game. The original Super Breakout. There's a bulleted list. There are one, two, three, four, five, six different bullets lit on the list. First on the list reads LCD brackets liquid crystal display. Next it reads contrast con control knob. Three, it reads high resolution brackets 32 by 32. Next is Plezo, P-L-E-Z-O, brackets, pressure, electric speaker. Next bullet list reads uh, difficulty, forward slash, game, select switch. And the final on the list reads knob control, brackets, paddle, position. And then there's the Atari logo on the blue box, white text on a blue box and below that box is a photograph display of the super breakout game system portable game system with the packaging and on the left side of that illustration there's a photograph of a kid playing the game and turning the knob of the super breakout portable game and finally we have a quotation from Cliff Spone one of the artists for the packaging of this game. He said, I came up with this scenario of being surrounded by this force field. So the color bar would feel like it was physically there. By putting it on the astronaut's helmet, it would help bring you back around to the artwork. It was a big burst of color across the top and the arching on the glass would draw you down to the bottom of the art. It kept your eye moving around, rotating, keeping the viewer looking at it through the whole piece. Tune in next time we're going to learn about Vanguard. <laughs>